Fog Entertainment back to bring you a preview for tonight's episode There's of There's only Ma- three more to go! Why not? The Righteous Wrath of an Honourable Man. Description. The Mayans bring death to SOA's doorstep. This means they're going to San Bernardino. Which they already were in San Bernardino. But you'd feel like the suns must be... Isn't that the suns t- turn to get a bit of revenge here? See the Mayans, like, they've, they've got off the hook lightly. They lost one guy. Alright, well, they think they lost two guys overall, but I mean, Riz was taken out by... Alright, I guess you could argue, alright, other charters have died. But that was the Mayans, actually, that wasn't even... Like right, Santa Padre? How many members of the Suns killed fucking Coco? Well, alright, they killed a couple of other people, but I mean, come on. Yeah. What's interesting here, uh, we, we see, have... since, see since the whole war, see since the whole war started, right? Why? And, and they didn't accept that they, they turned on fucking El Palo's crew. I mean, the Mayans can't complain. The numbers don't look too bad for them. Consider- well, the Santa Padre charter. Yeah, like, Santa Padre's been at war with El Palo's crew. I mean, since, I mean, Taza killed Rez, so, I mean, you can't even count that as part of the war. They, well, you first can, of all, like, they, they killed Tommy. You know, as well, who was so sons. they've lost two people and they've been all, an all out war with three different things. They killed a president of their own. Fatos, the Mayans, and now the Suns. Um, but in this episode, I think like, we're previewing it, so I think it's going to kick off. I think you're going to have Conche Diaz and they're going to have a big meeting about what they're going to do next. But my problem with this is, guys, they did that big mission last time. It was a clusterfuck. He ends up killing Gabby, not Packer, which, I mean, who saw that coming? No one saw that coming. Like, let's be real. I mean, I didn't even think Packer would be in the episode, but I didn't think she'd be in it, so yeah. there's that. But then they return, and then there's no, like, the minds don't even discuss it. So I hope here at the start of this episode, we actually get a fucking, like, ten minute table sit down. Can I and just turn around and say, Essay, your plan was shit. So I were going with my plan. Delivery fucking cracker. South of the border. I mean, it was an awful... the border. I still can't believe Alvarez approved that. I mean, Alvarez supposed to, oh, smart, he's a founding member. He, he approved a plan, easy didn't even fucking know the plan. Oh, what sense does that make? I just can't imagine a situation in Sons where they're going... I mean, they're, they're going on a suicide mission. But Alvarez even knows that because he says it's not the job of a VP to do this. And yet, he's having a fucking dinner party. You see if he, he treated the rest of the club like he fucking treat, treats Bishop. He might have a bit of fucking leadership. I think I've had Alvarez this season, I'm not going to lie. Start, see, see that scene? Want... See that scene where he sat down? He was top man. I top see, rocker. The longer this season's went on, I, I kind of am going off him a bit. I think, I think that's what they're going for, though. Well, not, a, maybe not in that way, but... He seems to have an easy control of everything, yet he's, he's still giving fucking Bishop a hard time. Oh, it's not her fault. You better turn up at the dinner, I say. What, and date like a fucking granny? Why should Bishop turn up? And another thing, Bishop was pissed. He actually held up his... Co- his yeah, he held his cool Bishop last time out when she starts messing with kids. I thought he was going to yeah, fucking go off on one. Should El Pugino know and says, look, you can't ride this, eh? You need to get you a taxi. Get you a cab, brother. They always ride pissed. I know, I don't know, but Bishop like, 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 they seemed really pissed that night. Like, I don't know, but they always pissed. Mm. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, if you're pissed, a, a, a car's what, a bike? Swaying side to side, his mid your ass? What's going on? But, right, predictions for Bishop. What's he going to do? What's Bishop doing this season? What's the end game with Bishop? I don't Bishop? know, but he's arguably my favourite character. I season. thought Bishop was going to... Him and Taza were going to die. I don't see them dying now. Taza's done Taza's fuck Taza's done all. absolutely nothing. I mean, Taza... He, he's had... I mean, in the first episode, he done nothing, really, apart from complain and say, oh, I tried to warn you. And no, right, but put it this way, right? At least Coco, right, was actually... People in the club loved him and shit like that, right? Say Taza gets killed by the Suns. Are we supposed to give a fuck? Are we supposed to, like... Uh, is anyone in the club ever going to be like, oh, I... Like, I can see if Taza dies, Bishop then are in his secrets. Potentially. Nah, I think Bishop will keep it. But, I mean, what's t- Taza's done nothing apart from that, and then when, it, when he cut his patch No, but say, they're, say he dies, and then they're, like, they're honouring him, and like, oh, Taza was a great guy. Is Bishop going to sit there and be like, oh, that's fucking Aye, because that's kind of different from Bishop is. I think Bishop... Bishop's the sort of guy that gets yeah, fucking seatbelt into his booster seat, and he, he takes his fucking corner of yogurt and eats it. Nah, Bishop's alright. I, I used to not really like the guy, but, I mean, Bishop's alright. Alright, so that's Bishop and Taza dealt with this episode. Right, who, who, who's uh, who's coming to top this episode? Are Mayans going to kill more sons and sons kill Mayans? Or what are they doing? Are they attacking them in San Bernardino? Are we going to see Tig? Are we going to see somebody fucking relevant? No, I don't Is Terry alive? What's happening? I mean, surely if, if more members die on each side, it's going to go beyond a talk between Alvarez and Tig. I mean, that should have happened first. 
maybe not first, but after like the first one or the second one. By the time we get to the finale, I got ga- I guarantee you, right, by the time we get to the finale, there's gonna be at least five members more killed on each side. Well, I'm not make... saying five five Santa Plagia when I say that, no, I mean just in general. I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, like, I mean, surely... The top... So what, what are they doing this episode? Are they attacking? Where are they attacking? Are they attacking San Bernardino? I mean, they could attack San Bernardino, but, I mean, I, I would have just thought... That the... but that's another ridiculous thing, right? They killed three San Bernardino guys. Terry could be dead, but he's probably not. So that's four San Bernardino. If Terry is dead, it's fucking awful. Yes, right? Considering but he has been portrayed does, as a man. I know, but the San Bernardino members grow on fucking trees. Oh, there's points and sons. Fat, there's points and sons of the kilt four members that are fucking two Charles guys left. Closed in. I mean, we're I just a couple of black guys on bikes. At least, at least Taza explained with the fatos. Oh, they're like hyenas. They'll just bring anybody into the club, so they've got numbers. Remember, remember Taza said that. Yeah. That's not the case with the sons. I mean, yeah, there has been times where maybe a charter has been heavy, and by heavy, I'm probably talking about maybe eleven, twelve people. Well, yeah. there's, there's also been times where a charter's not had that many. Like, I mean, you wipe out four people and it's... You're having to call Happy then to substitute in for a couple of weeks, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> Happy's in Bordeaux. <laughs> right, uh, Felipe's confronting Easy. Will Easy kill Felipe? I tell you what, it's not off the fucking table. Like, his meat parcels. See, Felipe says, why did you kill her? They say, our son. Oh, all Easy has to do is say, nah, you killed her, dad. We, we were going to go away and live happily ever after and, and you fucking ruined it for us. So, I mean, technically Felipe, I think, killed... And unfairly, and intentionally, killed Gabby. Yeah. Could have saved his son as well. But he's talking about, oh, I want to save Easy. Well, why didn't he let him go, leave the club, start a new life? Because I think last season Easy was probably save- salvageable. No, I think he is now. All right, so prediction what's Easy and Felipe going to go up to? Will Felipe properly disown him? Is that Felipe cut out? I don't think Felipe will disown him because I think. He sees himself in him, or, or, or Tanaza or Cortina, whatever the fuck he is. I mean, potentially, but I mean, the fact that Easy's currently fall, Easy's currently falling out with him, it's very weird that he would be falling out with him, and then all of a sudden the guy who's wanting to get in his good books cuts him out, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but maybe Easy, maybe Easy will fall out with him a lot more, because he'll pin Gabby's death on him. Yeah, could be, could be. Uh, Miguel, the blowing up last episode. That's actually what I'm most probably looking forward to, I see what happened. I like the start of the episode last week with Miguel and then we got fuck all. Yeah, I, I thought it was the best probably Miguel scene we've seen since season one. Yeah, I think up to the I think after Easy killed Gabby the episode just fucking died. I don't think I don't think Miguel's been interesting since halfway through season one. Yeah. I mean, see, ever since he made a deal with Adelita, I thought Miguel's character. Was right, let's well. be real, right? See, with Miguel, the scene, I think the scenes were he finds out that he's our brother. And there's a confrontation there, and he might do something to Felipe. That would be good. Yeah. But see, by the time we get to that, what the fuck are they doing? I mean, are we even going to get to that? I mean, the LNG's captured him. I, I think Louise, his right hand man's dead. I'd be surprised if he comes out of this episode alive. Fuck, you know his name. As, right. for, as for Galindo, I mean, surely Galindo has to survive, doesn't he? Oh, he's not that. There's too much to tell, with, uh, Miguel. Too much to tell. Right, what else are we predicting this episode? Angel Adelita, where's well, that Emily going? make the phone call? Who knows? I fucking phone a friend, hopefully See, it's you think all this shit can do with Easy? Has he really got time to be having side stories with Emily and that fucking JJ guy? No, no, the JJ thing's fucking stupid, right? I if guess if he's going to guess... kill Gabby, right, for giving Angel up to the police, why wouldn't he kill this guy who looks like he's going to leverage that to the police? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, no. A, cr- a criminal, a scumbag. Compared to a woman... At least you could say the Emily stuff, they're trying to tie up loose ends. This JJ stuff, they've added in for... Well, I can't say no apparent reason, because we haven't seen well, any reason way, yet, right? but... If Easy killed Gabby, why wouldn't he kill Emily? He not kill anybody. Maybe he fucking loves Emily more. Emily's, I guess Emily isn't saying, I'm going to hand in your brother, but still. Aye, but she, he jo- she jobbed him out a lot more than Gabby jobbed him out. Bored his kid. I know, but... Sure, Emily's white, so maybe that's why. Woo! Racism from easy, but have we wrapped everything up? Probably. We see in the promo Hank pointing a double barrel shotgun, so is Hank going to do something? Yeah, but to be fair. Or is it Gilly wearing a Hank mask? In, in fairness, like, we've seen that fucking in every promo for the last, like, six episodes, so. <laughs> I know, but we've actually seen it for this episode. Oh, right? Okay, well, I mean, who knows? I can't see Hank just pulling But that's another thing, right? He's just pulling up in broad daylight with his fucking cut. 
I, I, hang, I don't think you'll kill him. I think no, I, I hang will hold him hostage. Pull over. Now, I need your boots. Pull out in your motorcycle. Anyway, guys, that's it for the preview. Right, prediction death. Right, Who's dying? A notable character. Has to have a name. Who's dying? Who's most likely to die? Um, I'm going JJ. JJ? Aye. Be a bit out of the blue, a bit sudden in my opinion. Well, I can't think of a man. Or a son. Um, I can't, yeah. I'm going to go... Just think they're killing a big one bigger. Fuck, I have to pick a member. Who's most likely to die? I'm going to go... I don't think it will be him, but I'm going to go Terry. Nah, if Terry survived, he's not dying this episode. Maybe Doc. I can't really go anywhere else, can I? We don't know their fucking names. I tell you what, though, right? If the Mayans have killed Terry, or, like, like killed a lot of San Bernardino, and then killed Doc, they've just killed a VP and a president. How can Tig meet with Alvarez? Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's when... Oh, even who they have killed. They fucking ambushed him in a... No, but it's not even from a mind. No, but it's, it's too far from both sides. Seeing Sons of Anarchy, if right? Te if, if Chibs gave the green light, therefore they're involved. It's not like, well, that's San Bernardino's beef. Alright, but here, seeing Sons of Anarchy, look how fucking that, look how tense that sit between Alvarez and Clay was in the jail cell. I mean, Alvarez thought he was dead. Yeah. Alvarez thought Clay was about to fucking shank him or something, right? Well, it could be a similar <laughs> story. <laughs> right? So. Answer fucking back for the dead, drives Alvarez to the fucking Los Santos. Right, Tig, let's go, sir. All right, and that was, I guess, all right, I, I guess you could say it was an attempt. But that was, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, right, point B, no one fucking died there, all right, when they had that sit then. N now we've had, like, three members. I just, I don't know. I, uh, I can't really, I just don't see in what world it really makes sense to sit down. I mean, in Sons of Anarchy, if, uh, I mean, say you're, in season, say you're in season one, episode six, if, if Chibs, Opie, and Bobby, for example, get fucking killed, is, is Clay and Jack's going to sit down with whoever done it and try to negotiate a deal? Or yeah, actually, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> you know? could, could we see, like, Dondo or Diaz die in this episode? I, think Diaz I wouldn't give quite... a shit if Dondo died, but I mean, I actually kind of like Diaz, so hopefully not Diaz. I, I just think it's, I think it's gone beyond talking. To me, the time to talk was when Alvarez says, nah, we sit in this. I think Alvarez, see when Easy was pushing for, oh, this suicide mission, I think Alvarez should have said, no, I'll, I'll ring, uh, I, I'm good with the boys in Charming, I'll ring them, it's him. That, that was fucking atrocious, that mission. Why yeah. would they go for the elevator, man? But is that not when they should have had to sit down and talk? Is that not when, I know. should Alvarez not have phoned Charming and went, Hey, I say, why'd you kill four of my guys? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm fuck. good, we're happy, but just not that good. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'm changing my death prediction to Dondo. Dondo, you're now. dead. <laughs> Fucking David, David Hasselhoff, what was his name? His name was Dondo as well. Was it? Aye. There you go. Anyway, guys, till next time. Till the refuse and the fids tomorrow or the night or whenever you fucking watch it. <laughs> Woo! Peace.